got our first breaker wired in. Just to sh uh, show you, we're still this breaker still turned off. It's still got power, but but we don't have power there. Uh, when it comes to electricity, A, B, C, always be checking, okay? Um, we've got this wired up. Uh, what I did is I put in our first box here that's gonna be uh, just a regular 15 amp outlet. It's gonna have one extra socket uh, for the light that's going right here. Um, I went ahead and ran the wire through that and then down and under. And the reason why I did that, I had pulls on top and it would have saved me some wire going in through the top, but I want the top to stay sealed um, so that uh, when we're working in here, no dust or debris or anything can get down in the breaker box. So we're gonna keep it nice and clean. We're gonna use just a little bit of extra wire. Uh, the only the only time we're wasting wire is electric and it's just 14 and two. So it's, it's cheap enough to uh, make it look pretty. So uh, just wanted to show you guys what we got going on. We've got the uh, common or neutral and the ground on this bus bar. And then we've got our uh, black uh, power wire going directly to the breaker here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and start wiring up a plug for a switch. And um, when I get that done, we'll be back. All right, welcome back guys. Um, when we left off, we had this breaker wired in and I went ahead and popped it out while um, I was working, just extra safety. And of course, we are still hot, but our board is off for right now. So. Let me walk you through and show you what we did. I told you we were gonna wire this plug up and that's exactly what we did. And uh, we hung this light and I'm gonna show you what we've done. Coming from the breaker, we have this cable right here and the white is um, being terminated on the common side of the plug, which is your silver sides, okay? Your silver screws is your common. And then we have the black wire um, being split right here, okay? And we've got the ground coming to the ground. And if we come over here, I'll show you. We have the black wire being split and we just have a little wire coming out of that split right here into this bottom terminal. And what we've done is if you uh, take a look at this receptacle, you have a little piece of copper connecting these two. We've snapped that off to make, um, to separate the power to these two plugs. Okay. The reason why we've done that is now we have this wire that's coming direct power. So this is always under power. This one is not always under power. We've wired that to a switch and I'll show you how that's set up in a second. So we've have another wire run into a uh, second outlet and that is the third black wire you see right here. It's ground, is grounded out over here and it's common is ran right here. It doesn't matter which one you put it in because you see we've left that little flange right there so a uh, continuous connection can be had there. Now we we'll follow these wires over here and here you'll see that we've done kind of the same thing. We've came in with our power, we've split it, and we're uh, putting it on this back uh, far side, or close side to this wall, and we've broken off this contact so that this is not from direct power, but this is. And then if you see this white here, I've marked these as black, and I'll show you, I'll tell you why in a minute. We've got this cable right here coming from the switch and going to the switch. The black wire here, this is coming from our other switch, or actually it's coming from the other um, wire nut over there that's going directly back to the breaker. So this is hardwired in. And then the white from over there is still in our common. 
And since we have left that flange in there, we don't need another common right here that connects the common to both plugs. And then of course we've grounded out the same. Now back to our black wire over here. This is running all the way to the switch over here, which we've ran under here. And then at the switch here, we've grounded out the ground and we've put our black wire here. It doesn't, I don't believe it matters, but I, I put it down. And then that way, whenever you complete the connection, it triggers this white wire, okay? This white wire, I have black electrical tape marking that it's a hot wire. And the reason why it's hot is it's being fed from this wire, which comes uh, through our wire nut system directly from the breaker. Now this white wire is going all the way back to here and being split off into this white wire, which connects here, which will control this one outlet and then this black wire which I forgot to buy just single black wire for this so I'll have to do that and go back and replace this so that I don't waste a, a whole uh, uh, two, two strand of 14 and 2 Romex. Um, so this black wire is coming all the way back to this first socket right into here. And that's what completes the circuit for this socket right here. So that when we hit the light switch, this socket and that socket will turn on and only when it's on. And these will have, the back ones will have direct power at any time. Uh, the reason why we've done that is we're going to plug both the lights into these sockets. Even though they have uh, pull chains, we're just going to leave them pulled. I'm going to probably take them off. And then that way when we flip the switch on, it, uh, turns both of our lights on at the same time. Um, and so let me show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect this breaker. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, turn on the main power. We are live and if you come down here and look, You'll see I've plugged in this little tester, okay? On the side of it, it tells you if you've wired up correctly. Or we have two yellow lights, which means it is correctly wired up, okay? But if we remove that and plug it into the bottom socket, it's off, okay? But if we come over here and flip the switch, you'll see that it turns on with the switch and is correctly wired on off okay and we'll do the same thing over here you'll see that this back one is under direct power two yellows no red perfect and I'm being very careful here because you don't want to electrocute yourself and you'll see that it's off here and the light might be a little bright but this light right now is uh, currently being controlled through the the outside panel that you've seen earlier via drop cord just so we have some light to work. And then you turn the switch on, it comes on, turn it off, it goes off, and you'll see that it is correctly wired. Two yellow lights and one red. Okay, I just wanted to show you that real quick on how that's done. Um, and something I didn't touch on earlier is I'm not a master electrician, nor do I claim to be. Um, I'm just fairly confident with electricity and willing to figure it out. And I've had just a little bit of training in the field. So, and once again, if you're not comfortable with it, don't do it, okay? Um, now, I just wanted to show you that real quick. We're gonna, uh, turn the camera off for the night and what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and, and screw these in and put the face plates on them but before I did that I wanted to show you how that's done and we'll connect our lights up and, and be done. Alright, you guys have a good night. We'll see you later.